I think what happens is that our OFWs, the best that they can do is be repatriated and then try to go after the recruitment agency here. But their dreams of helping their family are gone. Mom, there's They're another dimension that I need to mention, oh. uh, and that's the bilateral talks or discussions with, with, with the host country. Uh, because th this is important too because if we want justice for an OFW at the site, uh, then we must also ensure that we are properly coordinated with the Ministry of Labor and the what, Justice what, Ministry. What, whatever it is. So that there will be a case that will be followed through. Mm -hmm. Before Joanna's case blew up, uh, the president had already, uh, well, we had a meeting. There was a dole DFA meeting uh, at the beginning of the year, and this was taken up. And from there, uh, there was a presidential announcement sometime in January 18 at the launching of the OF Bank, the Overseas Filipinos Bank. Uh -uh. That's when the president said there have been four deaths in the, uh, I, I think he was referring to the four deaths in December. And uh, that's when he sounded the alarm, said something is wrong. And the Secretary of Labor about within 24 hours issued a suspension. You suspend deployment abroad. Mm -hmm. Who are you hurting? The the people abroad or the people who want to go abroad? We're hurting no one. A, a, a deployment ban is not so much uh, uh, hurting somebody at the present or being vindictive about the past, but being constructive or protective for the future. Yes. Uh, we don't want any more deaths is what we're trying mm -hmm. to say. And do you think that by stopping deployment abroad this is perhaps the biggest way uh, uh -huh. to, to protect them because to stop them from going abroad exactly because we are sending a clear signal that we want to uphold the dignity of OFWs abroad and, and as as we talked about we're now putting in measures to further enhance itong lahat ng mga inumpisa natin so yung nakaraan oo nagkaroon tayo ng nagkaroon tayo ng mga ganitong sitwasyon and now, ma'am, Adoy, we, we just need one uh, uh, one very strong message. And now, uh, so your message, nyo, mm. ng ang message natin oh. is we're not going to send anybody abroad. Oh, okay. ito ang gusto until this, mangyari. okay, ito ang gusto mangyari. does this hurt us? Some will be prevented to go. So, so in the short term, I thought it was it does, but in the medium and long term, it won't. What we're trying move. to do now is engage the Kuwaiti side in a discussion on reforms and Secretary Bellio had announced already that uh, sometime early March mm -hmm. uh, there could be the possibility of a bilateral discussion or agreement so with Dalila, the Kuwaiti side. pero hindi kayo magde-deploy sa ibang bansa rin eh. Di ba? Ma'am, ayun ang sinabi. Pa Ma'am, uh, yun ay pinag-aaralan pa lang po, Thank you very much for clarifying the situation. Uh, you know, mga kapuso, I really think that the OFWs are dejado, meaning to say, parang they are being given only the minimum that is required. I don't know why. You have failed to convince me yeah. that OFWs are being helped to the fullest because they have to come home when they are, when the reason why they went abroad is to be able to earn money to come home.